Hey everyone, excited to be back for this week's edition of Frequently Asked Questions for Commercial Real Estate. I hope you all had a happy holiday season with your families. Uh, in today's video, what I thought I'd do is talk about a concept or really a document uh, that is extremely important as you go through the process of purchasing a commercial investment property. And that is known as an estoppel certificate. Now, before we dive into this video, I just want to make it clear that I am not a licensed attorney. So if you have any questions or concerns about the quote unquote advice that I provide or any type of information that I'm providing in this video, I encourage you to reach out to a licensed commercial real estate lawyer to ask these questions. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about what an estoppel certificate is and why it's so important as you go through the process of purchasing a commercial investment property. So what is an estoppel certificate to start off with? Well, an estoppel certificate is a document that's used to verify certain representations made by the landlord. Primarily, it's related to what rent is being paid by the tenants, what if there's any security deposits, who's holding them, and what's the amounts, uh, the expiration date of the agreement, and much, much more. Essentially, the terms of the agreement between the landlord and the tenant. Along with that, it should also clarify that there are no parties, so each party does not owe the other any money. So for example, if a tenant um, replaced their own water heater and it was actually the responsibility of the landlord, maybe the landlord owes the tenant $1,000. You want to know that on the front end before you buy the property so that you're not buying the property and then all of a sudden the tenant tries to come after you for that $1,000 when in fact it should have been the, the previous owner's responsibility. Not only that, but once you clarify this, this document and you get all parties to sign on the document, it kind of gives you a little bit of a shield as you go in and purchase the property. So for example, if, if the, an estoppel certificate is pr pr provided to the tenant um, and then they sign the document saying that everything looks good, that no one owes anything to anyone, and then two years later, they try to come after you for $2,000 that they claim that they were owed by the previous landlord, it's going to be a lot harder in court for them to argue that um that case when they had signed an, a, a document, a legally binding document that said that this buyer is making the purchase under the assumption that these terms are, are correct. And because the tenant signed on that, the dotted line, it makes it a lot harder for them to argue in court that, you know, you would owe them any money uh, based on whatever the prior owner had done. So that essentially is what an estoppel certificate is. And when you're going through the process of purchasing a property, generally in the purchase contract, you'd want to specify at what time does the landlord have to provide you with these signed estoppel certificates. Generally, it could be between 14 to maybe 30 or 40 days within that due diligence time frame. But you want to make sure that those estoppel certificates are in your hand before your due diligence time frame expires so that if something in those certificates looks odd, you can either negotiate it with the existing landlord or, or the listing broker, or if you don't like what's what, what's being written on these certificates and you're not able to come to any agreement, you can back away from the contract and not be held liable or at least not lose your security deposit, or I'm sorry, your earnest money deposit in the transaction. So I hope that you gain some value from this video. If you are in the market for buying commercial investment property, I highly encourage you to reach out to someone like me, a commercial real estate agent that can help you guide you through that process. Along with that, as we're going through the process of purchasing a commercial investment property, I also highly encourage you to reach out to a commercial real estate lawyer to make sure that the document is, is written up correctly and that everyone involved in the transaction is, is represented accordingly. So hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you guys next time. See ya.